Hello, this video is over percent applications. So these are seven grade TEKS we are going to be talking about for this, uh, for the next five lessons. So let's look at our number routine. Out of the 180 students, 35% of them will get the flu shot. How many students will get the flu shot? There are several ways you can solve it. One way you can solve it is this way. 100% 100 of 180 students is 180. 10% of 180 students, so if I break 180 into 10 groups, it'll be 18 students. 1% of, um, of 180 students, let's see, if I have 100, if 10% is 18, and I break this into 10 groups, that would be 1.8 students. So what 5% of 180 students would be? So if 10% is 18, 5% would be 9. So what is 35%? So let's see, every 10% is 18 students. So it would be 18, whoops. So it'll be 18 plus 18 plus 18, and 5% is 9. 18 plus 18 plus 18, 24 carry 2, 54. 54 plus 9 is 63 students will get the flu shot. So out of 180 students, 35% of them will get the flu shot. How many students will get the flu shot? 63 students. That is one way you can solve it. Another way you can solve it is called the percent proportion. Maybe that is something you prefer. So this is part to whole equal percent to 100. So out of the 180 students, is that part of the students or whole, all of them? That is the whole. 35%, that's a percent, of them will get the flu shot. How many students will get the flu shot? So we're finding the part. Many ways you can solve this. One way you can solve it is, what is the scale factor from 100 to 180? Some of you will say the scale factor is times 1.8. So if you multiply 35 by 1.8, you would get 63 students. Others may do it this way. Can 100 go into 180? Is it compatible? No. We can simplify this by dividing both numbers by 5, and you get 7 20th. And how many 20s go into 180? That scale factor would be times 9. So 7 times 9 is 63. So 35% of 180 students would be 63 students. So what did you prefer? Did you prefer doing it mental math? Or did you prefer doing it using percent proportion? So... Today, we're going to be learning six different words. Discount, tip, tax, markup, commission, and down payment. Where have you heard the word discount from? Discount. I'll give you an example. John had a 20% off coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond. The mixer cost $200. How much did John save? What was the sale price? So what do you think discount it means? Discount means you save money. It could be like a coupon. It could be, it could be like a sign above a clothing rack. Um, it could be like an early bird special. A discount is we're saving a certain dollar amount from the original price. B, what is tip? Have you ever heard of tip? What is tip? Well, Here's a, a hint of hint. Henry and his friends spent $200 at Perry Steakhouse. They left a 20% tip to the waiter for exceptional service. What was the tip amount? What was the total price? So what does tip mean to you after seeing that? What does that mean to you?
Well, tip means, from what I can tell, it means like someone does something, a favor for you, helps you out, so you give them extra money as a token of appreciation or of service. So it could be waiters, it could be a bellhop, um, someone who carries your luggage, um, it could be a valet uh, driver. Um, sometimes you can give it to your, um, not Uber, but I believe Lyft driver. They did exceptional job, so you're giving them gratitude. C, tax. Where have you heard taxes from? I know your parents always complain about that. Um, taxes. So here's a hint of advice. Allison bought a $200 television at Costco. The sales tax rate is 8%. What was the sales tax amount? What was the total price? So what does that mean, tax? Tax is an additional amount you have to pay on top of the service or goods. It is used to help pay for governmental government services like schools. Um, you know, we do have a stadium to pay for in KDISD, um, the Legacy Stadium, beautiful stadium that is. Uh, we had to pay for uh, maybe a flood restoration um, because some city courthouse buildings were destroyed. So taxes, taxes. So D, where have you heard markup? Markup. No, it is not where you get a marker and you mark someone up in the face. No, it's not that type of markup. Well, here's a hint of advice. Gallery furniture Jim McInville marked up a $200 mattress to at a 20% rate. What was the markup amount? What was the sell price for the mattress? So a markup is where you have an item. In order for stores to make money, because they have to pay for the building, they have to pay for the electricity, they have to pay for insurance, they have to pay for the sales clerk, the people who are selling it. They're not working there for free. So they have to make the price of an item a little higher to pay for the, uh, uh, the building, the sales clerk, the insurance. So they charge a little higher than the cost. That is what markup is. For example, uh, another good example is coffee. To make coffee, it really only costs maybe like 25 cents a cup. However, they may sell coffee for a dollar fifty, so they will make a profit. They mark it up, so to make a profit, they can make money off of it. So next one, E, commission. Where have you heard the word commission? Well, here's a hint of advice if you don't know it. A realtor made a commission of 3% on the sale of a $200,000 house. How much did the realtor earn? So commission is where people do earn money. Car salesmen make a commission. Realtor make a commission. Salespeople make a commission. If they can sell a certain dollar amount, they will get money back, return back, a rebate back to them to pay for their for their effort. That is what commission is. Uh, realtors, like for example, when I sold my house, I had to give up a 6% commission. 3% of my home, uh, my sale price went to my realtor and 3% went to the other realtor, the one who bought my house. And last but not least, number five. Have you ever heard of down payment before? I have to put a down payment. Well, here it is. The Robinsons are buying a new home for $200,000. To save money on the closing costs, they wrote a check for a 20% down payment. How much was the down payment? How much will they owe? So a down payment could be when you're buying a house. Um, you have to put money down, saying that you are... Um, that you are uh, that you really do want this home you're putting your roots down for example if you buy a car most of, most of the time you do have to put money down um, some places will let you buy it say here have it and pay us back um, a year from now but most pay, most companies will actually ask you to put money down a percentage down before they give you the product so here are the notes. Um, you will all be getting those notes. 
that tells more about what is it. A discount, coupons are considered discounts. Tip, tax, commissions usually based on sales you make for a company. Markup, a markup raises the price and down payment. And here, if you have a discount after calculated to find a sell price, you subtract the discount from the original price or total purchase. So you can see what the new sale price is. If you're finding the tip after calculate, you need to add a tip to the total purchase because you're paying the purchase of the good, like the mill, plus the tip. If you're doing tax, after calculate, you need to add a tax to the total purchase. Commission, after calculate, you might need to add the commission earned to other earnings. Markup, after calculate, you need to add the markup to the original price. And down payment, after calculate, you might need to subtract the down payment to find what you still owe. So we're going to be practicing on different examples. So a bicycle is on sale for $189. The sales tax rate is 5%. What is the total price? So what is, so let's do 189 for each one. We're going to use mental math, math, mental math to help us here. What is 100% 100 of $189? $18.90. What is 10% of 100 of, of, whoops, stop, stop, stop. What's 100% of 189? That would be 189. That's like the whole thing. You're, if you had to pay 100% of it, you're paying the whole thing. If you only are paying 10%, that's a one-tenth of it, part of it. A tenth of one eight, 189 is $18.90. What is, well, since it's asked 5%, I'm going to skip the 1% and go straight to the 5%. What is 5%? What's half of 18 and 90? $9.45. So a bicycle is on sale for $189. The tax rate is 5%, which is $9.45. What is the total price you have to pay? So you, if you forgot, for tax, you have to add the tax to the total price. So if I add $189 to $9.45, it would be $198.45. So I pay $189 for the bike. I pay an extra $9.45 so the government can, can um, do some pay for the streets, pay for the lights, pay for the schools, $9.45 go to the government, so I will pay a total of $198.45. Next one. Cindy went to the salon to get highlights and a haircut. Her total cost was $95, so $95, $95, $95, $95. Cindy decided to tip her stylist 22% because she loved her hair so much. How much was the tip? Well, nice of her. So if 100%, if she gave 100% tip, that's like the whole thing, $95. And some people do. 10% of $95 is $9.50. I broke $95 into 10 parts. So 1% of 95, let's see. Well, if 10% is 950, I break it into 10 parts again, that would be 95 cents. Because how do I get this? How do I turn 10% to 1%? Divide by 10, $9.50 broken into 10 parts, divide by 10. If you want to, I can show you right here, 950 divide by 10. Can 10 go nine? Nope. Can 10 goes in 95, nine times? Can 10 go 50? So 95 cents. So we're gonna skip 5% because we don't need to know that. So tip 22%. So 10% of 95 is 950. 10% again is 950. And 1% is 95 cents. But tip 22%, that's 95 cents and 95 cents. If you add this up, that is 10, carry to 1. 8, 5, 5, 9, 9 is 28 plus 1 is 29. Carry to 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. So 
In other words, she tipped twenty dollars and ninety cents. So the tip is that. What is the total bill? So in tip, you have to add the tip to the total price. So she paid ninety-five dollars for her haircut, plus an extra twenty dollars and ninety cents. So she spent a hundred and fifteen dollars and ninety cents for tip and the highlights and the haircut. Next one, a pair of jeans is on sale for twenty percent off of the original regular price of forty two dollars. What is the sell price of jeans? So a jean costs forty two dollars. What's a hundred percent of forty two dollars? Forty two dollars. What's ten percent of forty two dollars? So if I break $42 into 10 groups, that would be $4.20. And I'm going to stop right here because I need to find 20%. If 10% is 420, 10% again is 420. So in other words, $8.40 is my is, is how much I save. So that's like a discount. In a discount, you have to subtract the discount. So $42 minus $8.40, zero. Again, okay, four going zero. Subtract, this is 41. This is a uh, 10. That's a six. 41 minus eight. Let's regroup again. That's a three. This is a 11. That's be a three. So, it's $33.60 is the price of the jean. So, if the regular price is $42 and I save $8.40, the new sale price is $33.60. Next one. The price of a cell phone is $200 in Shop A and $240 in Shop B. Way more expensive Shop B. However, if you, if you get a 50% discount shop B, where should you buy it from? Well, if it's shop B, 100% would be $240. 10% would be $24. What would 5% be? 10% is $24, so 5% would be $12. So 15%, 24 plus, so would be 12 would be $36. So if it costs, a discount is where you have to subtract. If the original price was $240 in Shop B and you save $36, that means it will, Shop B will cost $204, while Shop A will still cost $200. Shop A is cheaper still. All that work for no reason. <coughs> Sam has a 16% off coupon for a tune-up at Quick Service Gas Station. If a tune-up is regularly $45, what is the sell price? So this is a, what is this? A discount, a tip, tax commission, markup, development. It is a discount. You're saving money. So it costs $45 to get a tune-up. 100% of $45 is $45. 10% of $45 is $4.50. We broke it into 10 groups. What would 1% be? 1% of $45 would be 45 cents. So what would 5% be? If 10% is 4.50, 5% would be 2.25. So what is 16%? That's 4.50 plus 2.25 plus 45 cents, if you add this all up, that would be 9, 10, 11, 12, carry to 1. So it would be a savings of $7.20. But if it's a discount, what would you, how would you find the sell price? You would have to subtract $45 and $7.20, 0. Regroup. Can 2... Take away from zero? No, this is a four.
and this is a 3, and this is a 10, so that's 8. So can 7 take away from 4? No, so that becomes a 3. And so that is 14 minus 7 is 7, so $37.80. That is the sell price. If a car salesman earns a commission of 3%, how much will he earn if he had $5,400 in sales? So let's look at this. A commission is where you have to add. That's how much money he makes. So 100% of, so write this down, $5,400 for each one. 100% of $5,400 is $5,400. 10% of $5,400 is $540. 1% of $5,400, or if you break the $540 into 10 groups, that would be $54. So 1% is $54. So 1% is $54. Another 1% is $54. Another 1% is $54. That would be 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. $162. And so he will earn $160. All right, next one. In order to make a profit at a local marina, mark up the price of a boat by 8%. The original price was $1,750. What is the price of the boat before sales tax? So let's think. 100% of 1750 is 1750 what would 10% be? 10% of 1750 would be 175. What would 1% be? That would be $17.50. But it is marked up by 8%. If each 1% is 1750 and we times it by 8, that would be 0. 5 times 8 is 40, carry to 4. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 4 is 60, carry to 6. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So it is a... <coughs> so it's going to be marked up an extra $140. So if it's marked up, it is going to be adding. So we're going to add $140 to the original, to the price of $17.50 because we want the marina to make money, profit, because we are a capitalist society. So they will sell it for $1,890. So what we did is we did, we used mental math to help solve these questions. So we broke it into 100%, 10%, and 1%.